test your tool batteries, see how well your old tool batteries are performing using uh, this capacity tester. You can pick up these reasonably cheap from Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. I do have a link to my Amazon store. You can pick up one of these if you like. So what you will need, of course, is your tester. Then what I have got here is some picture frame hooks. Now I've just bent the picture frame hooks out a little bit more just so I can slide in to the battery terminals here, just like that. Just keep in mind, yeah, I don't know if you can see that there, you've got your plus and your minus. But first, I'm going to chuck this on the charger just to top it up before I do the test. Alright, so we got our battery fully charged. We have the capacity tester all reset. So what we need to do now is to slide these pins in. Keep in mind this is positive, negative, positive, negative. And as you can see, we are now reading 20.7 volts on the tester, which is a good sign. Just keep in mind, if you are planning on doing um, battery capacity tests on your tool batteries, that some batteries don't have a BMS shutoff. I, I've done tests with Ryobi batteries before, and I do know that the BMS will shut the battery off, but I've recently done a test on a DeWalt battery, a small DeWalt battery, and the battery didn't shut down. Luckily, I was around the area and I was watching the battery, um, and the voltage was dropping quickly, so I very slowly realised that the BMS wasn't going to shut the battery down, and I shut down the test, so just keep that in mind. If you are going to do these tests, you want to be around and watching what's going on. You don't want to put this on test and then go out and leave this do its thing because you may damage the battery. So just keep that in mind, guys. This is a 4 amp hour battery, so we will probably put this up to... Um, we may do... 4 amp discharge, the 1C test you could say, so we're pulling 81 watts, this should take an hour to do the test, if not a little bit less, this battery has been used for a while, so um, we'll let this run and we will come back with the results. There you go, just caught it. The BMS shut off this battery, which is awesome. So we know that the BMS will shut off once this gets low enough. That's a very, very good sign. And uh, the results are 3.47 amp hours or 62.36 watt hours. So yeah, it's lost probably 0.5 of an amp hour over the years, this is this battery. This battery was made on 2021, fourth month. So this is over three years old, and we're still getting 3.47 amp hours.